Hey everybody, it's Ann Jeanette from My Days. How you doing? I know, two days in a row. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome in to anybody new. It is so good to be here with you guys again today. And uh, we are here because I got happy mail again. So I've been having some up and down days, let me tell you. I've had some security breaches as far as with my passwords. So I've had to go on and reset passwords for certain things the last couple days, like major passwords. So dealing with that, while well, my head's all yuck. And then today, get this. So I'm sitting here minding my own business, trying to figure out what time I wanted to come on and do this when I felt up to it, because Besides all of this, I was up all night. Kalua keeps trying to jump on me and lay down right on top of my wound. So all night long, I kept on trying to get her to lay down where it's okay for her to lay down and where she doesn't bother my wound. I can be up close to it, but she wants to be on top of it. Sometimes she's fine with being up close. So I always have to start and try to put her as far away as I can because then she usually ends up with her butt like right close. So, and I am starting to heal. My left side is healing up ah, gorgeously. It's my right side that opened up and that I'm dealing with all the issues. So I have to write my doctor today to see about getting more um, wound supplies because they never ever send you enough. And I'm trying to figure out where it's not killing me, where it's supporting my back so I can sit up. I guess I should maybe put the chair up just a little bit. That should help. I'm going to go out in a little bit and sit with charcoal outside. But anyway, I'm sitting here, minding my own business, trying to decide when I'm going to go live. Oh, I was telling you about not sleeping. I didn't sleep because I had that. And then when I wasn't dealing with that, my doorbell ringer kept going off. And there was a raccoon that kept coming, trying to find cat food. And there was no cat food out there for it to find. And then I have to be careful because normally I can just turn on the mic and tell it to go away and it will go away. But charcoal has started um, sleeping in one of the, um, oh, what are they called? One of the homes that has hay in it that's made out of styrofoam that we got from the Amishin to keep um, the cat safe in the winter time you know, keep them warm, um, all the feral cats. And we know we had at least two feral cats using it last year. So Charcoal finally realized that if he went into the hole into it, that he could go in there and sleep. And that's where he's been sleeping. So if he hears me say, go away, because it's right there on the porch. And normally I'm sure he can hear the raccoon thumping on top of him. He will come out and try and protect. So when the raccoon goes away right away from my voice, that's fine. But lately they've been turning around and trying to come back thinking, ha ha, we'll go back. Yeah, the one night it took me a couple times to get that raccoon away. Well now, Charcoal's there standing guard trying to protect the house and protect mama who's in the house. And I'm just afraid that that raccoon, from everything you read, that they do fine with cats, unless provoked, is going to feel provoked by charcoal and go after him. There was one night I about went nuts because I had just shooed the, um, raccoon away and so I was going outside to grab the food real quick because it had come earlier than when I normally get the food you know winter time's coming it's getting darker quicker 
and now they are coming like as soon as it gets dark. So we have to pick up the loot sooner. I have to, when Bob's not here. And it was a day I wasn't feeling good. I had been sleeping. When I woke up, it was dark. I heard the doorbell go off. I was thinking it was just charcoal going to get something to eat. But no, it was a raccoon. I told it to go away. And it went away. Well, evidently, it must have been one of the first times it was trying to circle back. And then the next time I heard... Rare, 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 rare. <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh my goodness. And I couldn't find charcoal. I started bawling. I just knew. Oh, even thinking about it again. I just knew that this raccoon took charcoal out or hurt him really bad swiped his side or something. I just knew he was out there laying in the pitch dark. So I found my phone and turned on my flashlight and went outside in search of charcoal. Remind you, I wasn't feeling good. I was sleeping. I been having low blood pressure ever since I had surgery. It was still low at the doctor's last week. So I've been on the dizzy side, take that whichever way you want, dizzy, wanting to fall, or dizzy in the head, because it affects me both ways. Um, so I'm out there trying to find charcoal, falling for charcoal, crying. Our neighbor across the street had just gone on vacation, so I knew I couldn't call him to help me just bawling couldn't find him and couldn't find him charcoal charcoal where are you get up on the porch no charcoal go back out to look walk towards the back of the house but i'm being very careful because it's pitch dark and i don't want to run into a raccoon I walk all the way around to the back and start walking up the driveway towards the front. And I'm guessing charcoal must have followed that raccoon and made sure that it went all the way back to the woods in the back of the house. Because when I came back around and I could see the porch, and as I got closer to the porch, charcoal came running from the other way. And he met me at the so I got up there and I sat down and I tried to pet him and he plays this game with me where he won't get close enough and he likes to make me stretch and I can't stretch with this and he hasn't learned that yet because he hasn't really been around me a whole lot since surgery. When he comes in the house, he lays on Bob's lap. He won't come near me because of this one. Who lays there a lot who is always near me, who is making sure her mom is okay because she's worried about her mama. Oh my goodness. It took me a while, but I finally got to see all the sides of him and it was underneath and make sure that he indeed was okay. Oh, I am praying. I was like, please, please, please let my baby be okay. They're all my babies. I... Losing Halford last year was so terrible. I could not imagine losing another baby this year. I mean, I know it happens. I've had cats all my life. But the way Halford passed last year was just really hard on us. Really, really hard. Didn't know he was sick. And then, you know, he was playing with us and boom, he was gone. I made myself a new drink and did not bring it out here for me to actually drink. I think we have some juice here. So. Mm. Definitely needed that. My mouth is so dry. So he ended up being fine. But last night between her and the raccoons, 
I was up all night long, all night. I just finally fell on asleep when Bob woke up this morning to use the restroom. And then he turned around and went straight back to bed. And then I don't know what time the Notre Dame game started today. But normally, as the game is starting or right before it starts, there is a flyover at the military jets. Kalua went crazy. They flew over the house. And I didn't think anything of it because I'm used to it by now. They're low. They make the house rattle. Everything's shaken. And she just goes crazy. There's a certain noise that she makes when she's really scared. She's making that noise. Little bit was going crazy trying to work their daddy up because she knows right now that mama loves her and will take care of her the best I can, but that I'm not all there with it now. And she has actually been it's taken us me having this surgery and I have had a ton of abdominal surgeries, but there's something about this one. And I think it's because I have to push her away. All the other ones, I've not had to push her away like that. She hasn't wanted to lay like right directly on the wound. She would always lay pretty well okay from which side they are. And plus I can sleep in my bed. I didn't have to sleep in a chair like I do on this one. And it's all, I mean, oh my goodness, if I stretch, it hurts like heck. Well, then I have to remind myself, no stretching. And it's so much more than that. Um, I don't move in the bed, but something about even when I go and sit on the bed and when I sink into it, there's something about it being so cushiony, I hurt. So I couldn't even imagine trying to lay in it because I hurt when I sit in it. So, um, yeah, she's been going to him. She's been laying on his lap. I have pictures of her letting him pet her on his lap. She's been letting him pet him. He's been okay to pet her if he's, she's on the floor, but she would not get on his lap. We've had her now, let's see, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. We've had her eight to nine years. And she has finally jumped up on his lap and will let him pet her and she does it quite often now ever since she started so her and little bit went to wake up Bob just screaming but luckily they didn't wake him up I was afraid they would but they didn't she came back out laid with me I tried to get some more sleep but then I was awake so I've been between awake and asleep like all morning and then I heard the postal woman get here and there was a package and I was like what is that so I have happy meal and I pretty much know what should be in there but knowing um, it should be my package from Nadine because it's coming from the area that she lives in she didn't put her name on it just the address um, I have a baggage. Yeah. Yeah. This has got to be from her because it's from the area that she lives in. So, this could be either just one yarn, it could be something else put with it. Who knows? I'm guessing it's probably just the one yarn she was going to send me. She probably sent me two skeins of it. It's for, um, it's for the Christmas stockings that I want to make because I want to make them for the whole family. And she had the black sparkle, um, that goes with the green sparkle that I used. 
do want to do mine over again, but I thought I had enough black sparkle, a different black sparkle um, for hers, but I don't. So I thought I could just pull a tab on this, but it looks like she's got Press firmly to seal. I'm not finding the pull tab. So I've got to get past the cat. I gotta get my scissors. You know me, I normally pre-open it, but I thought, like I said, there would be a pull tab and I would be able to just pull tab it. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't know how much of this is over the top, which it looks pretty much over the top, which is good, which means everything is protected and I'm not going to accidentally in any beautiful yarn. Yeah, we that would be the most shame. I actually got yarn once that had been cut into and I thought I had done but then I looked at it and I'm like wait a minute no I didn't cut into this this was like at the yarn was like at the bottom of the box well, evidently whoever had opened up the shipment of the yarn oh she's got it double bag whoever had opened up the shipment um used a razor blade and it cut straight through the yarn I got it from Joanne's and they just replaced it. Joanne's is so good. Oh, what fell? Okay, I need to use my grabber dabber to try and grab this card. The only thing, it doesn't seem to get tiny things like this very well. Let me try and grab it. Oops. guys all that heard my story about my extension arm grabber I wanted to get a new one my husband saw the price about freaked out about the price realized it looked exactly like what he used to clean up the yard with to get yard waste brought that inside for me to clean up and use as my grabber which it works fine and dandy unless it's something small like a card or it's thin like a card okay i've got this where it's straight up and i should be able to grab it as i drop everything else out that package and then i also put yarn along the handles so that I don't accidentally cut myself and it looks like it's just starting to come off. Package, there we go. Which it looks like if there's not another pull tab, I'm going to have to open it. Oh, get well, Snoopy. And Woodstock, I love Snoopy. And uh, I'm sure I sent her enough gifs that she knows that. Hang in, you'll feel better soon. Aw, thank you, Nadine, if you happen to be watching this. I know it may take you a while before you can see it. She's been having issues with her Wi-Fi. Seems like so many of us are having issues with our Wi-Fi. Mine keeps disconnecting from my Roku, and I don't know why. And I have to go up. I have to unplug my tower, and then let it come back, and then it's fine. Really? Yes, she sent me. Oh, Nadine, you didn't have. I told you you didn't have to do that. It anyway, because that's how Nadine is. 
recently an ice cream yarn. This is what I'm going to be using for my nephew and um, niece to be by marriage for their baby. So for my my great nephew or niece. This is ice cream um, yarn from Lane Brand. This one feels different than the one that I have. I don't know. It's three and a half ounces by 100 grams. I have the regular ice cream like this. I have like two of them, and then I have the big scoop as well. Um, and the color is mochi or mochi, however it's said. And um, see three and a half ounces by 100 grams 394 yards 360 meters it's a size three 100 acrylic it can be washed 40 degrees celsius which is 105 degrees fahrenheit no, whatever the triangle is. And I'm thinking that's the bleach symbol. It can be dried, no iron, and it can be um, dry cleaned with pea salt. And over here it says machine washable and dryable. So there you go. That's the color I'm planning on using for the baby blanket. And I would like to make like a matching sweater or something like that. I don't know if I want to do like a whole layette in this color because I have other colors that I can use, especially yellow. Um, I actually have a, a bright, a bright um, jumbo yellow. I think it's a size six. And I would love to see if I can find a baby sweater that is made out of that size yarn. So there's that. Let me stick it over there. And then a whole free pack. See, I thought she was only going to maybe send me one or maybe two of these. A whole three pack of Premier Home Cotton big glitz 490 yards 448 meters net weight 9.87 ounces 83 percent cotton 15 percent polyester and two percent metallic that is exactly what i used for my stocking and i need this for emily's stocking um and I'm going to have to add more stitches to it because when I made it with cotton, mine, you know, stockings are made to have stretch because it calls for acrylic, you know, or wool or whatever. But making it with cotton, it doesn't have as much stretch. So mine ended up having a really like thin body and then it had a big foot. So I need to add more stitches to that. So the one that I've already made, I don't plan on using for me. I plan on making another one for me, one for Emily, one for my husband, and one for Emily's husband. His will be a mixture between cotton and acrylic yarn because his will be red and green. My husband's will be red and white. And then Emily's will be black and off-white or black and gray, depending on whatever colors I have, but they will be made with, you know, it's going to be all be the same stocking pattern. So, which is the one that we use for the cow. So, yeah, I can't wait to get started, but I have other things I have to finish first. So, it has to go in the back room. It's in plastic, which means it can go at the top. Although I have so many things in plastic at the top, I don't know if I could fit this up here, especially with this heavy as it is. I do have, I have a bag back there, a big one for Christmas stuff. So I'll need to 
either put it on top of it for now or try to fit it in. But this one choose the plastic, so I need to take it out of its plastic. I can't put on that. I'm gonna get going. I'm not gonna keep this rolling as long as last night's did. I'm not feeling 100 today. As you know, I'm tired. I'm really exhausted. Um, I'm trying to use save some of my energy so I can make the cottage cheese jello um, whipped cream mixture that we make so I can have that for dinner. I planned on eating the rest of the ravioli because we did ravioli bake the other day, which was my, one of my absolute favorites. And my husband took what was left to work today. So I can't be upset with him because he's got to eat. I know I got to eat too, and I am. Um, and I wasn't sure if the ravioli would even stay down. So I'd rather have him take it and eat it and love it and be able to eat all of it. So, um. I know I can eat pudding, which I have some vanilla pudding in here, in there that he made me. And I know I can make the mixture. I may not even make it. I think he's probably planning on making it for me tomorrow. So if I can find something else to eat, I might today. The thing is, I was told that some ladies from church were going to be bringing some meals around and at first my husband was like no no we don't need that and then we were kind of like yeah kind of do and then she told me well because the original thing said she told me that the ladies wanted to know if i could use some meals and then she told me well nobody really asked her it was her idea and she was hoping that when she brought it up to them that somebody would step up, but she has since gone out of town for some personal issues, and it was really never brought up to everybody except for in, um, in the prayer group where she just really quickly said, would anybody like to take some meals to AJ and she likes Italian, so, and that was basically it, so. Yeah, nobody stepped up. I was really hoping they would because it would really help out on weekends like this where I can't, I can't make myself dinner. And I mean, even if I could, I can't stand at the stove long enough. And I don't really have any um, TV dinners because we stopped eating stuff like that when we went on low carb. Now, granted, right now I'm not worrying about low carb, hence the baked um, ravioli. But, you know, anyway, I said I wasn't going to keep talking. I need to go. I need to figure out what I may be eating tonight, what I may not be eating tonight. Um... I know I at least have jello pudding in there and I can eat that. So I have about half half of a big box left. He's been getting the, the big boxes of vanilla for me. Um, the ones that are made with three cups of milk so that I can get enough protein in my system. And plus we can add extra protein. So I'm just starting to get tired of vanilla. So I try to add some flavors to it sometimes, but then it comes out runny. I used to add some of my coffee flavorings, um, my, uh, what are they called? Simply skinny, skinny syrups to it. I would put like a fourth of a cup and add it, you know, and then put enough milk in it to make a cup. And then that would be the first one that I would put in when I was blending it. And then I would add two more cups of cold milk. 
and it held up real good for the first time I ate it, then the next time it would be really, really runny. And I'm thinking it's because of the skinny Syrah. But I don't know, because sometimes the regular stuff that doesn't have it in there does that too. It's not as quickly. So, and that was nice because I put in some really nice flavorings. I had like a mocha peppermint that, oh, that was good. Or sometimes I would take my creamer, like my husband got me the, um, the Christmas mocha peppermint that's out now. And I know that I made it once with putting the, um, the creamer in it and it made it taste like that mocha peppermint. And that one was really good, you know, and before I was just using different things like the butter toffee or, um, iced cinnamon. I cinnamon roll, I think, is the cinnamon one. Vanilla almond, different flavors. And um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go try to find something to eat. I have protein bars and protein drinks, and um, I'll find something. Um, if not, I might be able to find something to microwave. I had some meals left, but I think I ate them all. Yeah, when I first came home. I think I may have already ate them all. So, I've got plenty of vegetables. If I want to eat those, we've got a freezer full of frozen veggies. So, but I'm going to go. I've had the 30 minute mark. I didn't mean to make it here. I will see you later. Nadine, Thank you again. All of this yarn will get used, I promise. All of the black may not get used this year, but it will get used, especially since it's yarn I can use for Emily. And um, I'm gonna get going. I love you guys. Remember, you matter. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And remember, you're gorgeous and you're beautiful. And I love every one of you. And I'm here for you. Send me an email if you need to. And yes, I know I've said this before. I'm hoping, I am really hoping to get the strength so that I can get all of my stuff that I need to send out together so I can get it sent out. So I have two prizes that have to go out. I have not forgotten. Sanja, your bag is in a bag waiting for me to be able to um, just have the energy to get the um, scale down and everything and do the pirate ship. And I still haven't found a box for the other one that goes to handmade or homemade. Oh, I can't remember. Handmade designs, is it? Handmade or homemade designs? Anyway, I'm looking for a box. I have not forgotten about you. And you have been so great with me. I appreciate it so much. I mean, I know I've been late with stuff, but I've never been this late. So I do really, 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 really appreciate you guys. You'll get it. And who knows, I may add a little something more in there too. So, I love you guys. I really do. And um, I will see you soon. Oh, and I need to remember to write the designer about the next cow. So, love you guys. See you later. And as soon as I hear back from her, I will be making the information about Cal 5 video. And we will be getting started. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Later.